Okay, everyone. So, I just wanted to show you that I bought my first Laserdisc player. And I've already watched one movie on it. Batman Forever, but this is not why I got the Laserdisc player. For those of you who don't know what a Laserdisc is, it looks like a gigantic CD-ROM that's the size of a vinyl record, except there's a dip major difference. Laserdisc, believe it or not, is an analog format and not digital. Even though it's the forerunner of the, you know, the, the CD, the DVD, the Blu-ray, it's the grandfather of all those formats. I picked this up, believe it or not, for only five dollars at a local shop near where I live. And you might be wondering, well, why'd you do that? Laserdisc is obsolete. Well, the answer to why I bought this came in the mail today. So let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, so I've taken a knife and I've cut the tape. So the answer to why I bought this Sorry, this is very hard to do with one hand. Alright. Get that out of my way. Sorry, this is not a very good unboxing. Inside, we have a bag. That's interesting. eBay official tape. Official eBay tape. Sorry if my camera is jiggling around. It's very hard to do this one-handed. There we go. So, now you might be thinking, of course it's going to be a laser disc. Well, yeah, no duh, it's going to be a laser disc. It's definitely a laser disc. And I'll eventually show you what a laser disc looks like. So, got it. Geez, they wrapped this really well. Great. So the real reason I bought a laser disc player is because Star Wars. Now you might be wondering, but David, why the heck did you buy a Laserdisc player to watch Star Wars when you can watch it on DVD or Blu-ray even? Well, there's one very good and simple answer to that. This Laserdisc, the Fox Video Special Widescreen Edition, is the truest form to the way it was released in theaters. Now it does have the line about C-3PO saying that the tractor beam is, you know, connected to the reactor in several locations, but I forgive that. That's a very minor and very early detail. But this, the reason I got this, and I'm going to get also Empire and Jedi, is because sadly you cannot buy the unaltered trilogy on either Blu-ray or or DVD. The only way to watch Unaltered Trilogy in any good form is Laserdisc. Now you're probably saying to me, but David, they released DVDs in 2006 with transfers of the of the Laserdisc. Yes, they did, but George Lucas screwed it up. He released the DVDs non-anamorphic, meaning they have black lines not only on the top and the bottom of the screen but also on either side so they don't fill up your whole screen. Laserdisc does fill up your screen. It still has black lines on the top and the bottom 
But anyways, if you look at this, and this is not the first pressing on Laserdisc. This is actually from like 92 or something, and there was one before this that was done that looks just like this and is also widescreen, but it says CBS Fox on it, and it has an aspect ratio problem, but we'll get into that in a bit. But if you look at this, got some kick-ass pictures in it. So, can't wait to show this off. But yeah, this is why I bought a Laserdisc player was so I could get into these. And hopefully Disney and Fox will get their acts together and figure out the, you know, the deal. It's like, oh yeah, and the laser disc player totally works. Let's open it. That's the size of a laser disc. So let's get into some more details. Okay, so here we are. Now you might be, see, I have here the Star Wars original trilogy on DVD. So you're probably wondering, well, why did you buy it on Laserdisc then? Sadly, this is not the one that comes with the bonus DVDs of the Laserdisc transfer. And it has all kinds of messed up shit because it's the special edition released by George Lucas and the last time we saw the unaltered trilogy was before the original special edition in 1995 so the last time we saw unaltered trilogy so we're not talking about this crap was on VHS and Laserdisc now VHS Granted, they're cheap, but there's a problem with one. If you really want to get into Star Wars as much as I do, there's a problem with going for VHS. They wear out. They seriously wear out. I've had multiple VHS break on me over the years, whether they be eaten or they snap. You don't realize the way that VHS works is it stretches the tape so hard every time you watch it that it eventually the picture either wears out or the tape snaps. It's not a good format. And also, Laserdisc for the unaltered trilogy is the also the only way to watch the original trilogy in widescreen. All VHSs are what's called pan and scan or full screen. And you know very well we're not in that age anymore. I mean, I got this just because, you know, it was a dollar and it, I like the box art, but that's about it. So, put that away and let's take a look at what a laser disc looks like. Okay, so I got one out of the folder and a laser disc looks like that. It's a gigantic disc. And but the weird thing is that it's analog, but it and it's not digital. But I'll probably end up making my own DVDs just so that I don't have to watch the disc too often and I'll put them in my editing software after I capture them because laser disc you have to flip over, but if I really want to get nostalgic, I'll watch the laser discs. Okay, so just a quick side note here. Um, I had to take the sound out in order to show you, but here you can see a bit of Star Wars, the original picture on my 4K TV. Now, when you watch it, I don't know if it shows up on the video or not, but there are some rainbows and flickers from this is before Star Wars was restored for the special editions, so there are a few artifacts and rainbows from it being analog from RCA. But as a whole, 
it looks really, really good. I mean, you can't expect HD out of analog. You just can't. But it's not... The rainbows and artifacts aren't so bad that it ruins the picture. And as you can see, it's, it's widescreen, but it's also anamorphic, where it goes side to side of the screen. So, yeah, that's why this is the closest you're going to get to the original theatrical release. Except for that line where C-3PO talks about the tractor beam that's in it. But other than that, this is the original, the way it originally was in the theaters. And let's just hope that Disney and Fox can reach an agreement. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and take care. See you soon, and I'm going to go watch some Star Wars.